we are going to discuss about length of an open belt drive we can observe two pulleys here which are surrounded by a open belt the directions of the two pulleys are is same in nature whereas in crossed belt drive the direction of the pulleys are in opposite in nature now let us consider a b c d b the belt which is surrounded to this two two pulleys now the belt leaves the first pulley at a and d points respectively the belt leaves the first pulley at a and d points respectively and the belt leaves the second pulley at point b c let us draw a, a line which is parallel to a b and passes through point O2. From the geometry of the figure, you can observe this O2 M is perpendicular to O1 A. Let us consider alpha be the angle between the vertical axis and the O1 A. Let R1 be the radius of the first pulley and R2 be the radius of the second pulley. Let X be the distance between two centers. O1 and O2. So we are going to find out the length of this open belt drive. What is the length of the open belt drive here? The total length means this D J A plus A B plus B K C plus C into D. From the figure it is symmetric in nature so we can write it like this l is equals to dj a plus a b plus b k c plus c that is equals to 2 into j a plus a b plus b k means 2 into j a plus a b plus b k okay so from the triangle o to m o n so this is the triangle o to m o1 sin alpha is equals to o1 m divided by o1 o2 so o1 m divided by o1 o2 so this o1 m can be write as like this so o1 m is equals to o1 a minus m a so o1 a means r1 minus m a means r2 why because this m a is parallel to this O to Z. So, sin alpha is equals to O1 A minus M A divided by O1 O2. So, that is equals to R1 minus R2 divided by O1 O2 is equals to X. So, as sin alpha is very small, you can write it as alpha is equals to R1 minus R2 divided by X. Okay. So, and J A. J A means you can write the length of the arc J A is equals to R1 into pi by 2. So this is R into theta means pi by 2 plus alpha. Likewise, the length of the arc B K is equals to R2 into pi by 2 minus this part alpha. Okay. So J A is equals to R1 into pi by 2 plus alpha. K B is equals to R2 into pi by 2 minus alpha. And also, but the length is equal to 2 into j a plus a b plus b k. Okay, but we don't know what is this a b here. So, you have to find out this a b. How you can find out this a b? This a b is parallel to m o 2, means a b is equal to m o 2. We know that this is a right angle triangle O1, O2, M. O2 M square is equals to O1 O2 square minus O1 M square. Therefore, O2 M is equals to square root of O1 O2 square minus O1 M square. So, the, dist the distance between two centers is X square minus already we have proved this O1 M is equals to R1 minus R2 whole square. If you expand it, if you take this X as common, you can write x into square root of 1 minus r1 minus r2 by x whole square 
by the help of binomial theorem you can expand this equation as x into square root 1 minus x whole power 1 by n can be right like this x into 1 minus 1 by 2 into r1 minus r2 by x whole square plus n so on so if you multiply it with x x minus 1 by 2 x into r1 minus r2 whole square divided by 2x therefore if you substitute the 3 length of the 2x plus ab in the final equation length is equal to dj a plus ab plus bkc plus cd if you substitute in the equation you will get a uh, equation like this 2 into r1 into pi by 2 plus r1 minus r2 by x plus x minus r1 minus r2 whole square by 2x plus r2 into pi by 2 minus r1 minus r2 by x okay means if you substitute all these values in this 2 into j a plus a b plus b k we have already got this j a and b k and also from this equation we got a b finally if you substitute in these values you will get final equation as pi into r1 plus r2 plus 2x plus r1 minus r2 whole square by x and if you want to get the equation in terms of the diameter of the pulleys l is equals to pi by 2 into d1 plus d2 plus 2x plus d1 minus d2 whole square divided by 4x so this equation is very important in highest point of view